20 minutes into this one and uh, Zinedine Zidane shows why he's world class. Watch the touch here and watch the finish. I mean, that is just incredible. It's almost like he hit a knuckleball over the keeper. But the ball keeps knuckling down and bent down onto the crossbar. Great first touch of the ball to deaden it down. And then look at his final touch. It looks like it's going to go away and all of a sudden, boom! It looks like it rolled off the end of the table. And then in the 30th minute, Sienko is crossed here. Look at here, look at the mistake he makes. And then when the ball is cut through here, nobody from Real Madrid touched it. And Mahalik is coming and he just bangs it into the corner of the net. But a terrible mistake by Hierro. He was the man who set that one up. But they made up for it because uh, Raul coming down in the 36th minute with a beautiful little push pass through. Salgado, watch the pass. Look at that. Beautiful. Salgado gets on to the end of it. And uh, Morientes bangs it up into the back of the net. I mean, that was just a beautiful goal. Two great goals by Real Madrid. Yeah, Hello? certainly a uh, scintillating performance from uh, Real Madrid. It Bayern, isn't it? It's in his third appearance in this year's Champions League campaign for uh, Radek uh, Slonsic. He had a very bad knee injury uh, last season. Spent a long time in the United States trying to get it uh, repaired, get him fit again. They seem to have managed to do it. And Gasseas this time is beaten. And it's Sionko. Well. Well, the keeper just can't keep saving you. We talked about it in the first half. That central defense for Real Madrid, how it could let them down. And it certainly comes back here. The ball is kept clearing out. And... Uh, they just keep clearing it out down the middle and the shots keep raining in and Casillas had stopped two of them previously but Sienko beat him here and you got to take a little bit uh, you got to give a little bit of the credit here to Sienko look at Zidane just jumped away from him I'm not sure why look at Zidane turns his back to him and that ball may have even taken a deflection on the way in but what a shot by Sienko let's see if we can pick it out here but look at the way the ball is cleared you clear it right down the middle like that and you keep banging it back in on top of the keeper eventually you're going to beat them and certainly Spartak deserve this one this deserve a draw at this stage well Sionko in the 72nd minute it, looking at those replays it could very easily have taken a touch from Pavon but Sionko will claim it. Sparta Prague to Real Madrid to. Well, a lot of teams finding themselves being outplayed in the first half, trailing 2 1, but have come out in the second half, Tommy, and just try to keep the score respectable. Sparta Prague have come out, they've taken the game to Real Madrid, and that's just a reward for them. Oh, yeah, they've grabbed the game by the scruff of the neck here in the second half, and they said, hey, we're not dying down. We're going to play as hard as we can, and uh, you've got to give them a lot of credit, and they deserve that goal, richly deserve it. I mean, the two teams have played very, very well. Uh, McAuley playing it for Roberto Carlos onto the right foot. And tapped in, and Real Madrid back in the lead, Morientes. Once again, a mistake at the back cost the home side dearly here. Roberto Carlos gets this ball knocked down to him. Watch this, Roberto Carlos, the ball pushed across. Now he takes the shot, and the keeper just put the boot onto the ball, and Morientes is there, and Morientes knocks the ball into the back of the net. Roberto Carlos, he pushed the ball away, and Morientes just streaks in and smacks the ball into the net. Look at how much room here Roberto Carlos has to go around the defender, and there's nobody to pick the ball up and clear it out of there, and the keeper is on forces, Mike. He comes up with a good save, but he doesn't get